I said, tell them they'll get the quotes tomorrow then. They will. Don't miss out. Um, can you walk us through what happened 256 left in the third? Um, just trying to make a play, uh, get to the rim. Um, my defender, who was that? Elderly, Al Alibi. Um, I tried to get into his body. When he saw me trying to get into his body, he he uh, backed up, so I lost balance and uh, just ran into Nurk. Um, yeah, my neck and my head, my neck kind of went back. I just, um, you know, just heard it for a little while. That's all. I just tell them the same thing every every game, every time out. Just just keep being aggressive. Keep playing your game. Uh, he's a rookie. It's going to be ups and downs. Some long seasons, highs and lows. Just stay level-headed. Keep your confidence, and it'll shake back for him. Exactly what you just said. Uh, I knew I didn't have COVID the whole time. I had no symptoms. Um, like you said, inconclusive, I guess, positive, then two negatives in a row. So, you know, it's just a tricky season with all the testing going on, you know. Things just happen. Yeah. Yeah, especially once the game got close. You know, it's always tough not being out there with the guys and trying to get a win, knowing that um, I'm one of the team's uh, difference makers. Um, I got the green card for next match. Do you feel that way, that you can change the dynamics of everything with everything that you do? Uh, yeah, for sure. Um, that's just, you know, the way my game is. Um, I know I can make plays, whether it's scoring or creating for others, defense, rebounding, whatever, you know, is needed. Um, I wear a lot of hats, so, you know, I, I know what I can do. Yeah, coach always on me about just playing my, playing a complete game. Don't get too worried about one thing because I can do a lot of things. So he always tells me to rebound, get out and run, play make for others, score, uh, play defense, uh, just just be an overall player. Would you ever have said, would you have gone back in? Yeah, I would have went back in. <laughs> Given the state of the NBA right now, where you've got guys signing ten days, in and out of teams, whatever, has that changed your preparation at all in terms of like, do you feel like you need to kind of dig deeper on some of these guys that haven't been on been in the NBA for a minute? Um, it doesn't change my approach. Um, I appreciate all the guys that's coming up, though. They really uh, help saving the season. Um, just being ready, traveling crazy, never knowing, you know, which city or what team they're going to be on. But um, I just want to tip my hat to those guys. And um, But my routine doesn't change, stays the same, and just being ready to play. And whoever they call up or whoever comes to our team, just welcome them with open arms and try to be a great leader. Hey, Will, uh, you go way back with Bones and you know his game well. Uh, what do you think have been his biggest areas of growth this season? And what do you think he may need to work on the most going forward? Um, he just has to keep playing, just keep playing hard. Um, it's tough on a young player, your rookie year uh, coming in. And I try to just tell him um, just to find ways to affect the game, even if he's not you know, making shots because he has a complete game, uh, whether it's defending, uh, rebounding, making plays for others. Just play the right way, play hard, and everything will uh, come back to you. But, you know, as, as a young player, we all come in and, you know, we, we want to score. So I just tell him when shots are falling, don't, don't hold your head down. Just keep playing hard. You, you're such a good player that you can do so many things. Everything is going to fall in place for you as long as you're playing hard. Hi, Will. It's Leonardo Torres from Peru. Congrats on the win. Will, Coach Malone say this has been the most consistent game of the season. Do you agree with him? 
Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, we came out, played hard from the beginning, and we we closed out playing the same way. Um, I think this is the first time we won the second half in a long time. So that obviously shows that we played a complete game tonight. Say that again. Wow. Yeah, that's a long time ago. <laughs> Hi, Will. Congrats for the win from Cordoba, Argentina. It's great to see you fine. After that uh, scary moment for you, how do you feel when you saw your teammate uh, unit together stronger to to end the game with playing a great basketball? Oh, it was a great sight to see um, the second unit out there making plays for each other, um, protecting the big lead, and just getting the win, playing the right way, playing for one another, and, and going out there and uh, getting the job done for us. So we wouldn't have to go back in the game. And um, anytime you can have that type of night is always success.